North Dakota first. Every year, our company, Nextstar Media Group, sets aside two days known as Founders Day of Caring for employees to dedicate a few hours volunteering. The KX crew did their part by volunteering at places all across the western region. Alexis Arthur shows us how our team participated. Packing meals or getting your hands a little dirty. That's how some KX employees celebrated Founders Day of Caring, next our media group's 22nd anniversary. It feels good. We look forward to doing this every year. We get to get out in the community and um, you know help those around us. Local employees choose a different organization to volunteer at every year. In Bismarck, some crew members were at the Heaven's Helper Soup Cafe. Then in Minot, we started at the Commission on Aging, where we packed food and delivered it to those that are in the Meals on Wheels program. And another group of employees went to the zoo to brighten the landscape. All volunteers are a huge part of this. We couldn't in no way deliver or help the people that we help without volunteers. They play a huge part of this. Our volunteers are, are very important. We have a very small staff and we have uh, 25 plus acres to take care of and uh, so there are a lot of little tasks that that need to be done. For just a few hours we got to change up our day. It's a nice thing that the company lets us do. And do something that makes a positive difference in our communities. For KX News, I'm Alexis Arthur. Founders Day happens across the nation at all of our Nexstar media stations. Today, the United Way of Dickinson had a ribbon cutting ceremony for its Born Learning Trail. The trail is a series of interactive learning signs along a mile stretch in Rocky Butte Park, and it'll help preschool age children develop their alphabet, numbers and imagination. The project was funded by about 10 local sponsors in the area, and the United Way feels it is a good way to get families out of the house. We wanted to get kids off of their electronics and give their families and their caretakers a reason to come outside and spend time together, enjoy learning. And she says the Dickinson's Born Learning Trail is the only one of its kind in North Dakota. Keep it here, still to come. Some people are taking 